Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to review the QX105 Bat Quadcopter from Ishin. This is their newest brushed quadcopter. And I must tell you something, I took this one already for a test flight and it is my favorite brushed quadcopter so far. In this video I'm going to tell you why. First of all, in the box we're getting the user manual. Ishin had greatly improved their user manuals and everything is very clear all the binding process how to configure the camera so before you take it for a test flight read the user manual in addition we're getting the quadcopter the camera comes a little bit loose i tried to put some glue but i think the best thing is to do is to put a zip tie like that in addition, we're getting a USB charger, one set of one set of spare propellers, one parallel charging cable, two one S six hundred milliampere hour batteries, Velcros for the batteries, carbon propeller extractor tool, and one set of spare motors. One is clockwise, and the other one is counterclockwise. Let's quickly go through the specifications of this quadcopter. The flight controller is the Ishin All-in-One Pro brushed board with a built-in OSD. The motors are cordless 10 mm motors. All the other brushless quadcopter that I reviewed so far, the biggest motors they had is 8 mm, so this is a big difference. The camera is 600 TVL with a 25 milliwatt transmitter and it supports 1S batteries and the OSD is Betaflight OSD, which is a great plus because I can configure the OSD through Betaflight. In addition, you have three options for receivers, either the FRSky, FlySky or a DSM2 or DSMX compatible receiver. The weight of the QX105 without battery is 57 grams and if we add the battery we're looking at 73.2 grams. The bottom plate thickness is 1.5 millimeters. In order to bind the quadcopter all you have to do just press and hold this button here and then just connect the LiPo battery or you can connect the USB to the computer and before that just put your Taranis on D8 and it will be easily bind. If you have any problems just refer to this section and I will also include a link to this user guide in the description. Here you can see how it compares to other micro quadcopters I have. This is the biggest one, this is 130. This one is 100 millimeters, it's the new Aurora 100. And this is the only brushed quadcopter I have currently, which is the EX120. It's a 120 millimeters quadcopter, so as you can see it's bigger. And this one is much more powerful, probably because of this, its motors. These motors are 8 millimeters, these motors are 10 millimeters. This is a pretty well designed quadcopter, you can see we have these little bat ears, that's how it got its name, the Ishin Bat 105. In order to mount the batteries you can either use the provided Velcros or you can use my favorite method is just to use a rubber band, I think it will hold it much better and that's the way, that's how I used it on the test flight. So in the next section I'm going to take it for a test flight, but let me tell you a couple of things before that. The advantages of this quadcopter, it does provide a very good, decent amount of power. And I felt this is by far the strongest and fastest brushed quadcopter that I've flown. The OSD is a great advantage because you can see the status of your battery and the buzzer is also very loud. In addition, these motors are easily replaceable. It's plug and play. If you want to change the motor, all you need to do is just detach the connector, replace the motor and you're good to go. And you also have a LED indicator on the back. The only disadvantage that I've encountered so far is that this antenna is exposed. I think that a whip antenna was a better option than this cloverleaf antenna because this is a 25 milliwatt transmitter and we fly it normally on a very close range. So I think that a whip antenna would, would be much more durable than this one. I recommend that you should put a kind of guard. I think I'm going to 3D print a guard to protect this one. So let's take it for a test flight. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.